Hello and welcome, Adam Thomas from Balancing Touch Reflexology. So good to see you and thanks for joining me today. How do you do reflexology on yourself? <laughs> I've been getting a lot of questions about, uh, you know, my YouTube videos saying, oh yeah, there's, these are really great and stuff, but how do you do this on yourself? So let's go take a look at how to do that. So how do you set up? Um, well, because you're going to be working on yourself, as long as you're comfortable uh, and have access to your feet, that's all the requirement uh, needed, right? For me, I think something like this is going to be fine. Sitting in a chair, um, I'm not leaning back or anything like that, I'm sort of getting on the edge of the chair, sitting up straight, and then I'll probably just bring my foot across like this. This is one option, right? I have access to my, my feet here. Another one, um, which is something that I prefer. So, this is another option where you can sit cross-legged and you can come up like this. But again, some people are just not going to be um, comfortable in this position and that's totally fine. Um, you can, you know, by all means work up to being able to sit on the floor. Um, but it's not a requirement, um, you know, you can move with one foot out sort of in front of you like this, right? Another way that it can be done as well, if you're comfortable kneeling, you can get down like this and you can also work this way, right? You can work your feet uh, back this way as well. So we're going to start with the head. Now the head um, is this pad of the big toe here. It's the whole thing. And when I'm saying the head, that includes, you know, eyes, ears, um, some other glands and um, stuff that are in the head. Um, the toes are little slices of the big toe, okay? So, um, when we work on the big toe, we're working the general head. Okay, and remember too that this is the right head um, because it's the right foot, right? So it's half of the uh, head, which is the right side of the head, okay? Just so we know. So th for this one, there's no real rules in it. Um, for, you know, when you're working on a client, there's definitely some, some better ways to work, um, which can be applied here. So I'm going to show you that. So I like to take one of my hands and go behind so that that way when we push on the big toe there's some support there right rather than just going like this it doesn't feel as good either so when you put um, a supporting hand it's going to be so much better right so I like to just hold there and then you can just work with your thumb okay and there's no real rules to it. There's a, there's a little walking technique in reflexology like this, which is a bend in and extend, a bend in and extend, right? But you don't have to do that. What we can do is just push our thumb straight in and just kind of do a dot to dot, uh, meaning like basically color the whole ball of the big toe um, by pushing. Right, little dots all the way along, as you can see what I'm doing here. I'll just pick a random tool here. Here we go. We can just push in all the way along and you color in the whole area, okay? With this, I tend to do a little bit of a rolling action. Okay, I think it feels good to do this, okay? And figure out what, how it works best for you. You know, you can hold up here. Um, I find, because I'm so used to using my fingers, I try and make it an extension of my finger as much as I can. So see how I'm holding it there? And then when you actually roll, you have a bit more um, control. So see, I'm wrapping my hand around like this. This is holding it there, and then I put my thumb on the side. And then that, that way, it feels really good for me. Um, so I can push straight in, right? Or I can roll a little bit. And if that's too much for you, you can flip it around, same same grip, and you can use a bigger surface. And try out different surfaces, try out different tools that you have, right? 
that might give a different stimulation, right? Like this one's good, so it can cover a bigger area, right? But it's kind of neat that there's this extra ridge here because I'm getting a different um, uh, sensation there, right? So there we go. We can kind of work back and forth like this. Just work that whole area really, really well. And you can't even work <laughs> there, right? So there we go. So that's the head, right? So there you go. That's just a little bit of, uh, you know, insight into um, reflexology, do it yourself, do a uh, DIY, right? So as I sat down to record a bunch of these videos, um, I realized that I kept going. I kept making it bigger and bigger and bigger. And what I ended up doing was I followed what I would normally teach um, a reflexology student. So, um, and then what I teach them is a full, around 60 minute session, right? All the points from basically head to toe, except um, we'll have to be sitting in a different position. Um, what I'm trying to s tell you is that I kept going and I ended up creating um, an online course out of this um, question um, called Reflexology DIY. So if you're into that, go over to bouncingtouch.ca um, and check it out. You'll, you'll find it under courses there. So hopefully it can be useful to you and yeah. That's all I have today. I will see you in the next video. Take care and remember to keep those feet happy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with anybody that you think might be interested in. If you're interested in reflexology, this might be a channel to subscribe to. If you haven't already, hit or better yet, step on that bell icon and then you'll be notified when the next video is coming out. If you're looking for a reflexology chart, head on over to balancingtouch.ca. We have created a bunch of visually exciting, easy to understand reflexology charts for you. And if you have some more time, check out some other videos. Till next time, this is Adam Thomas from balancingtouch.ca. See you later.